Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this is the turn 7 video for Battalion HQ, and I'm sorry about the last one for these guys. Um, my, uh, for whatever reason, my my uh, record, audio uh, recording, the settings got switched somehow. I have no idea what happened, but uh, yeah, I didn't get any audio recorded. But what I was saying in that, um, at the beginning of that uh, mission was that I, I've been loading, like I'm on, the, I'm on the planet Lockdale, and the idea is that if you're fighting a, a convoy, which I'm doing right now, you're supposed to take an attack convoy mission. And I was two days away from Lockdale, and every time I would, I would reload and then go to Lockdale to try and get new missions, I couldn't get an ambush convoy no matter how hard I tried. I think I must have reloaded like, I don't know, like 16 times, somewhere around there. And I, I couldn't get an ambush convoy. So I took a two and a half skull battle mission saying that if I got two lances, it would count as a two and a half skull. If it was only one lance, it would count as a one and a half skull. And unfortunately, I got to do the same with this one because I've been reloading and reloading. I'm trying to finish off this convoy. Um, it went from six skulls um, down to three and a half last battle. The convoy deployed its infantry, so now it's at four skulls. Um, so I'm attacking another two and a half skulls of it. It's supposed to be an ambush convoy. I couldn't get it, so I had to take another battle. Two and a half skull battle mission. So if I get two lances here, which I think I'm going to, it looks like the same map Map that, uh, yeah, we're probably going to get a, re like a re reinforcement lance here and a main lance up here. Um, same map that the um, Hellspawn Lance B got uh, um, their butt handed to them. But we're going to drop right here. So if we get, we got two lances, so this will be this will just be counted as a two and a half skull. Uh, ambush convoy because I, I couldn't get one. So we've got our main lance. I can only deploy uh, six mechs, so we're going to do that. And uh, hope for the best here. They got one and a half one to, they got one and a half to one odds? No. Eight to, eight to six is what? 1.3 to one odds? So good odds for us anyway. Alright, so I think I'm going to go this one takes the cake. And try and do the same thing. Hopefully they don't have like a ton of Nidhogs this time. We're going to go up this way and try and use this hill to block these guys off. Uh, take down the lance that's up here and then we'll finish these guys off. Um, if it ends up being a nightmare, uh, we're going to pull out. Not worried about pulling out. As long as we can kill some of these guys. Um, right now the, the con... The... Uh, the six skull convoy that we're facing is actually stuck in battle with us so they can't actually go anywhere Roger that, on the map that is um so um uh, not that worried about um where are we gonna put you let's bring you up here Location confirmed. not that worried if we pull out because we can still uh engage them in combat although we've been uh, picking up more and more lighter units uh, approaching so they may decide to attack us and um, l try and get let, let the convoy get away from us, but we'll see what happens. So in turn seven, it's getting, a, I don't want to say dire, but the enemy convoys are approaching our main base. Um, and a bunch of the players early on had gone out to face the enemy and uh, it was kind of a hit and miss. We didn't really know exactly where they were going to be. Um, so uh, a couple of the units oh, just didn't line up with the enemies. Um, and it's, you know, I'm technically playing, but I'm also the ref too. And, you know, but the thing is to make it fair, Urban Mech, Commando, wow, this is a two and a half skull. Hole Hound. Ho Holen Hound? Holen Hound? That's German for Hellhound, I would assume. Oh, there's two of them. Bulldog, medium, okay, well, there's probably eight guys here. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I've got, like, I had the the battle plan for the enemy laid out. I'm sure I mentioned this. I had the battle plan for the enemy laid out before we even started the campaign. Uh, where all their, in, or, like, where all their units were going to go. Uh, what their objectives were. So all they've been doing is following the objectives and following the information that they, like, that they actually see on the battlefield. Um, so it's not like I'm, like, I... I'm cheating against the players or anything. It's just Confirmed. some things have just seemed to have just worked out for the enemy, and there's not much I can do about that. It just it is the way it is, right? It's the nature of uh, of warfare, not always knowing what's going on. So that's a hazard. Hazard's what? Forty tons? Pretty sure it's forty. 
four H. Well, oh, well, we got more over here too. Uh, we got the Holland Hound, Merlin, and Griffin. So who are we facing here? Pirates. Okay, fair enough. It didn't really tell me at the beginning of the match, so I'm gonna try and get an early kill here. I think. Um, because these guys haven't moved. Uh, I just I'm I don't know what this is, so I'm I'm kind of wary of pushing it too much. But we might be able to get an some early. That's really bad. Early damage off in these guys. Although we could lay the I could lay the mines down. I want to lay mines there or here. I mean, we could go after... Ah, man, it's just a tricky... Tell you what, let's stay away from this guy on turn one. We're going to pull into here. Roger that. No shooting. Gonna use Not the mine running. dispenser. And we'll target the ground over here. Yeah, so there's... Uh, what? Oh, because I'm... There we go. Engaging weak target. Yeah, I went a little past where I wanted it to go, but whatever. I am out of FRMs. Yeah, so it's interesting to to watch how the players because this one was this one's a little different than Lockdale. Lockdale we were on, on this like offensive. This one we were on the defensive a little bit because we're defending a base. So the enemy kind of came down all the way around us. So the forces are split at this point. Commander. The next battle, like the next scenario, is going to be a direct fight, so it's going to be a little easier on the players because you like we'll know where our start point is, the end point, all that stuff, right? So it'll be a little easier. But um, what do I want to do here? Let's move into here. We definitely got to smoke these guys as fast as possible. So let's get up. Um. Hydra and standard. I want to use them. I don't think we want to use them. Well, this guy's got lots of rockets. Let's put them. Well, he's got a mine dispenser as well. Yeah. I'm using the dispenser because I'm hoping that he'll take a lot of leg damage. All out of short range missiles. Well, it's not a bad loadout, like a layout there for fi for a fifteen. But I don't think we'll use any more on that guy. Um, stay back here. Copy that. Try and stay out of that guy's ability to shoot rockets at us. If we keep him, if we keep him, uh, his head down a little bit here, hopefully that'll help. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put the ret. No, we got the rack. Let's wind it up. Let's just try and smoke this guy if we can. I'll leave the barrage off though. Okay, a little bit of damage. Solid connection, that one. Yeah. He's going on 13. Yeah, the players have been doing a good job. I mean, Ready for the handful of guys that were down in the southwest, uh, if you guys drop into the Discord and check it out, you'll be able to see the maps. But the guys that were fighting in the southwest did a pretty good job of... Um, like handling the main unit of enemies there because there was a lot of um, a lot of units in the south. They sold their heavier units. They've got a couple of assault units still left down there. That there was a critical hit, that but was. most of their medium units and, and their heavy units are all gone now. It's just mostly convoy fi fi like, uh, fighting. The convoys have speed, so they were just like they used the enemy used their main force to kind of like tie up our units in that area and then now they're using their um, their uh, like their convoys are just kind of like blown past them so like the main units are a little slower the convoys are pretty much on their way to the uh, let me put some mines out down over there as well on their way to the main objectives so it should be interesting to see what they can do now they've got to be able to take the objectives My SRMs are out. Um, 
And there's still a few enemies on the map where the players haven't detected yet, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Um... Let's go over here. Roger. Let's start on these guys on this other side here. So let's drop... Fast cam, indirect, attack ground. I'm gonna put it, like, down into here, probably. I don't think we'll hit, but we'll see what happens. And I can't go over and look at it. Okay, I mean... Not too bad, I guess. At least it's in front of them. Okay, who's going? It's turn five. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, man! I guess he took so much damage from the, uh, the mines, you just decide, fuck this, I'm out of here. Too much. Okay. <clears throat> move into here. We're gonna deal with these two guys over here first, I think. Handle these guys if we can. Rotary's, rotary's down, but that's fine. I'm gonna put the barrage on them, though. Um. Yeah, I mean... Let's save the missiles for the long-range fighting. Let's just go after this guy. Firing. Ooh, head hit. Nice. I'm listening. It's great when it, uh... When it works for us, but it's really bad when it's against us, so... Yep. I'm still against the number of head hits. I've been hitting the enemy's heads uh, quite a fair bit. It's... it's I'm finding it's, it's just too much to shock. It's shocking the amount of head hits. Like, it really, it's really beneficial to have weapons that have um, multiple chances to hit. Commander. So like SRMs or machine guns even, uh, lots of lasers. Things like that really, really help out for head hits. And even one head, one head hit can fuck up a, uh, a mech for, for its chance to hit and stuff. Okay, he went through the mines. A little bit. I don't know where these two are going, though. Hopefully they come this way, but I doubt it. Oop. Where are you going? Hooking up with your other... units? Where'd you go? Oh, you're moving forward. Ooh, nice pl nice positioning. It's ready to, ready to strike there. But we got a melee mech, so... I don't know if this guy's a melee mech or not, but I guess we're gonna find out. Whole hound. Missile energy. Uh, not bad damage to the legs, though. Uh, let's take a shot at him. We're gonna heat up, but it, we're, we're close enough range we can probably mill in maybe next turn. Here we go. Mr. Merlin. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the um, the uh, the play with the players. It's a l it's the turns are moving a little slower than I think we all wanted, but yeah. I think it has to in order to work well. Um, we've got split turn movements, so what that means is that um, like I plot the enemy moves, then I ask the players to move. Um, they're usually moving at the same time I'm plotting the enemy moves. And I don't watch where they're going. Um, I don't go to the Discord channel at all during the player moves. Um, so I plot the enemy first. Once I have the enemy moves plotted, then I go and look to see what everybody's doing. Then I plot them on the map. And if there's intersections, um, then we can discuss what's going on there. You can change your, your direction if you want. Um, things like that. Based on what you, what you spot with the enemy. Um, let's see. Let's go... Over here. Position confirmed. Drop some more fast gam down. So once again, we're gonna put it down in front of these two guys here, I think. Confirmed. Hopefully Fire. it lands close. Uh, it's still off to the one side though. I mean if these guys come through, great, but Yeah, so we're plotting moves. Like, like I, I plot the enemy move while the players are deciding what they want to do. 
and then you know then I go back once the enemy moves are plotted on the map I go back check what the players are doing and then there's like intersection or they, they might detect uh, certain enemies or the enemies might detect them before um, before they detect the enemy so it's like the enemies can sometimes like adjust their uh, course of action before um, sometimes the players can like, like sometimes the enemy doesn't see the like see the players uh, we've got one unit um, s9 that's like um, super super fast like I think it's movement of 12 on the map and it's really stealthy so it's been able to like the first several turns was able to maneuver around the map without the enemy even detecting it was there Reporting. nice yeah, I don't care about salvage on this one too because I'm only taking um, one salvage and I'm using three um, to add to company resources. Um, I talked about a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> during the last uh, mission I did for HQ, but the problem was, like I said, I didn't record sound, so I don't know what you you know and what you don't. Jesus Christ. Rotary chem laser, man. That one tagged me good. It did. Uh, copy. Don't lose any of those X pulses. Oh, you're not, that's not uh, who I thought it was. I was going to say, don't lose those X pulses because I don't have any more. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Um, let's drop that, I think, for now. Hydra is going to get me as well. But let's just use the rockets. Let's try to apply some damage to this guy. Two medium X pulses. That'd be nice to pick up. At least one of them, anyway. So those micro lasers aren't bad either for low, uh, for low tonnage max. I could probably I'm use one on the um, on the Kit Fox because it's um, it's a little bit under tonnage right now. Our SRM boat here, or Adder, sorry, he's a little bit under tonned, but I can't fit any more in the armor and stuff. So, but we could use a micro laser. That would probably do it. Yes, Commander. Rotary's back. That just spells shooting my own guy in the back. Let's get over here. It just screams shooting my own guy in the back, though. Doesn't matter which guy I shoot for, they're low. Um, yeah, you're uh, pretty toasty. That guy's pretty hot, too, so let's go with this. I think we go this route. Drop some heat this turn. On. See if we can push him over. Not quite. No short range missiles remaining. Not quite. I'm listening. Are ya? Roger that. Let's hammer this guy. It'll be nice when we can get off this lunar environment. I can start using all my weapons at the same time again. Uh, let's hammer him with both of these guys. Here you go. Well, there goes his main weapon. See ya. There goes him. Scored a critical hit. Mm. You got that right. Yeah, so company resources are going to be used to... Uh, I'm actually working on the rules for that right now. Used to buy certain things during the missions and between between missions. I'm still working on dropships and how we're going to integrate them into the game, but I've already worked on the ability to use spy satellites so the people who have their mobile HQs can use, um, if they, if they're, if the mobile HQ, oh that's nice, if the mobile HQ doesn't move, then, um, it has the ability to, like, ping a certain area of the map board. Uh, I don't want to do that. So it can reveal like certain parts of the map board. Um, so if there's an enemy there, um, then we'll be able to pick it up. Because right now there's like a lot of like a lot of parts of the map board that are just like completely hidden from us our sensors. So having those, um, having that ability to be able to ping that map to find where the enemy is, it's going to be a huge advantage moving forward, especially when we're in attack mode. Right? Know where the enemy is the deepest. Um, I want to work on these two, I think. We're going to drop it back here. Firing. Oh, that was a nice one. Beautiful. Yeah, that's off map. 
Let's take it to him. Reporting. Yeah, that guy can see you now. Uh, let's get to where they can't. Move over here. Confirmed. We don't want those guys over there shooting at us. Glad they don't have like a lot of long range weapons like they did in that last one with uh... Um, yeah, let's go this route. With, uh, with the um, all the Nidhogs and stuff. Okay, nice. Receiving you. Just gonna walk over here. Not expend too much heat. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch up here. Oh, I thought I had Inferno, but I don't. Okay, leave the flamer off. Bad chance to hit anyway. Let's go with a bit of, uh... Yeah, I don't think we need to use the uh, acid on this guy. That hits something good. So this guy's pretty much done. So we're gonna- I'm not gonna worry about the Shadowhawk and the Hatchetman going after this guy because uh, the crab should be able to take care of it. And we're gonna move over. Commander. Well, crab goes first anyway. Just gonna walk mm -hmm, to here. I'm going. Go this route. That should probably take care of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe not. There goes the left torso. Ah, there goes the X-pulses. I think I hit- Oh, there's a knockdown that could do it. He's got one health left. Yep, there we go. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, I don't like the idea of, like... Commander. Unless you, like, blow the head completely off the mech. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say cheesy to win by knocking the pilot out, but it's like... I get it. I, I get the the wanting to do it. I, I totally understand it. But I, I would rather I would rather fight than... Uh, then um, knock the pilot out. And then here I am using mines, right? <laughs> it's like, I would rather take the legs off than knock the pilot out. You know? It, I don't know. What are your well, words? it's at this point in the recording that for some reason my audio just stopped recording. So, uh, yeah, I'm just recording this after ah, as I'm editing this. Speed. So... No I guess enjoy the rest of the battle with no voiceover. I'm sorry about that, guys. I have no idea why it's done. This is like the first time it's ever just stopped recording audio halfway through my recording. So maybe there's something going on with my mic. I gotta check it out. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Ready for orders. Got it. Roger. How's it going? Yeah. Holly. 
Goblin AF. Confirmed. Damage is light. Standing by. On it. Locking on target. Harder than that. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Heavy damage. That was a big hit. Big hit. Affirmative. Need me to hold still for you? Yeah. I got it. Don't think, don't shoot, just run. Here we go. So help. SRMs are gone. Ready for orders. Aye, aye. Confirmed.
I'm rolling. Standing by. Location confirmed. Inflicted some heavy damage. Right here. Mm-hmm. Awaiting orders. Move order confirmed. remaining. What are your orders, Skipper? Affirmative, Commander. That hit something good. I copy. I copy. RMs are gone. Receiving you. Moving to position. Engaging with target. Receiving you. On my way. I 
I'm listening. Heading out. Mm-hmm. Ready to rock. Target down, Commander. Receiving you. Roger that. No shooting, just running. on that one. Commander. was a critical hit. Armor breach, internal damage. That one was a bad one right there. Standing by. Attacking from position. Negative damage. <laughs> Score the critical... Confirmed. Confirmed. Engage it, target. Receiving you. On it. Reporting. Wilco. Engaging. 
enemy down. Mission successful.